to a 48 News update. The Alabama Banking Department just revoked the banking license of mortgage company hometown lenders. It comes on the heels of yet another lawsuit alleging the company defaulted on loan payments, owing more than $21 million to a Michigan-based company. WAFF 48's Daquan Lee has been following the story for months now and has the latest. Following a months long investigation by the Alabama State Banking Department, Hometown Lenders has officially had its consumer credit license revoked. An explosive court document says the company violated multiple laws and regulations while refusing to cooperate with an investigation. It lays out how the company's operations affected both its customers and its employees. Court documents from the State Banking Department Bureau of Loans laid out damning details regarding the mortgage lending company, including testimony from former hometown lenders employees and its former COO. Hometown Lenders originates mortgage loans for prospective investors for their projects through MIPs, or mortgage insurance premiums. However, the state discovered Hometown Lenders had collected nearly $500,000 in MIPs, but failed to pay those same MIPs beginning around November 2022, meaning they weren't dispersing money investors needed to complete their projects. A total estimate of the damage? Almost $1.5 million. A former hometown lenders post closing manager testified that the number of unpaid MIPs made her job impossible. She also went into detail that hometown lenders struggled to make payroll and did not pay into its employees 401k plans. She even testified her health care coverage was canceled because the company stopped paying for its portion. Court documents also share that in the hearing where all this information was presented, nobody representing hometown lenders even attended the hearing. It also says that there is enough evidence on the record to indicate that any lesser action other than revoking their license to operate would, quote, result in further harm to the citizens of our state and other states.